rather see the whole thing in action. <laughs> I, it's like, as long as you can see, that's important. <laughs> it's not as fun, honestly, as watching a video because like it's not super zoomed up. You're far away. You don't see no slow mo. No, it's intriguing just seeing it. So it's like, wait, this is mine. So I might as well yeah. have a little bit of my own experience it in the moment. But you got that title, man. The title that is um, how, how did you do it? Like a Filipino playing FIBA, man. Getting good. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm very happy for you. Thank you. So we're gonna do our last little check. Make sure everything's good. So good. this one, you're not looking. Anything sharp down here? Nah. Here? Nah. Down here? Wow. Nah. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> So come on, man. You, you did you try to create some sort of engineering experiment to try to mechanically get this this nail out of the skin? What you try to do, or you just been watching it? I just been watching. You know, I'm just. You're like, a chemical guy. You've been just like thinking of what we've been applying to it. You're like, different. I know what you use to you know make it not happen. You know, it's like oh, I know what that is. And like that. And, but you just uh, can't get access to it. I just can't get access. It's expensive, and I'm not even allowed to. <laughs> So first what we're gonna do is get out those bad corners. So at this stage, when there's so much what we call hypergranulation tissue and the, the toes change shape, this is the main option, is just remove these corners, get them out of the skin. This is an actual obstacle for the body to heal those corners and that's why it's not able to heal itself. It's literally, think of it like a foreign object. Yeah. So at this stage, conservative treatment doesn't work really well. We're gonna get these corners out, give you an antibiotic, stop them from ever growing back, and then you're done with it. So we're gonna see kind of the damage you've been doing underneath or the. Wow. So really wide. That's wide, wow. And see the curve, let me get some of the, so you can actually see the nail itself. It's, wow, that was in there, eh? Very wide, right? Yeah. That's what this guy has. Now, did you cut down the side at all? Or not really, you've just been leaving it? I've been, I mean, the, the one to my right, yes, but the left one, I just left it as is. I didn't even try it. See, it's not even that bad, right? Yeah. But the work boot is a big issue. If it's too snug, and now your toe grew in size, it's just continuing to put more pressure. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some of this dead skin off. This is that hypergranulation to show. I wanna see what's going on underneath. We're gonna clean some of this up afterwards. So very fleshy. So all that tissue is basically new blood vessels. Uh huh. And it's abnormal tissue because the body's sending more tissue to try to close up the corners, but because there's something blocking it, that tissue has nowhere to go and it just starts building up. I see. So making sure the cut everything underneath is all good. That side is good. This side I can clean up a little more. Very long nail underneath. Pretty crazy, huh? Well, yeah, just to get it right now, so I didn't even know how thick that was. Yeah, so, if there was no tourniquet on here, this thing would be gushing like crazy. So this, is gonna be a bleeder. And that's because again, all this abnormal tissue. So don't be afraid if it bleeds through the bandage I put on today, you're gonna to have to put this or change it multiple times throughout the day. Yeah. And that's completely normal. After one to two days, it'll usually stop bleeding. The antibiotic will help shrink the tissue. Now the body can actually close up those corners. And that's it. So we're gonna start putting the acid and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit more of the dead skin afterwards. Okay. I don't want it to bleed too much because if there's too much blood, it'll actually dilute the acid. But this happens to a lot of Filipinos. Oh yeah. <laughs> I kind of really want to go to the Philippines and just like set up a clinic, pop up a shop, and just be there all day ripping out all those ingrowns yeah, down there. Cause... Just do it. <laughs> to, like, to be honest, I haven't even been to the Philippines yet. Me either. Oh, right? And now like, you know, since plane tickets are expensive, but try to, you know, I heard it's like three grand if you get close, if you don't book ahead. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Imagine that, eh? Imagine if you were to book it like, I don't know, a month, a month before. It's gonna be skyrocketing. It's like everyone wants to go home. And now it's sad. Now, you know, most people are going back home is because someone's dying, right? It's just it's like... It's sad, yeah. 
Now, is there a big difference in the levels of engineers coming from different schools? I went to Waterloo, and obviously there's, they're pretty known for their math program and, and some engineer program. Are they pretty good, or is it all pretty much the same? I mean, they follow like the same, like, you know, like, I guess they have like their own booklet and they follow it, but I guess the teaching style is what's different. And like the name of the school, like, I know a lot of like people from Waterloo, like, I, I think if you are a uh, computer engineer or software engineering, those guys from Cali, Silicon Valley, they'll be like, yeah, I like that guy because he's from Waterloo and gotcha. all that stuff. But that, I don't know. Other than that, it's, you got your, you're an engineer. Yeah. Gotcha. I still can't, that's, that's very impressive, man. You yeah. stayed, you stayed away from all your Filipino cousins. <laughs> <laughs> right? You didn't oh, hang yeah. out with them too much? Nah. That's their trouble. <laughs> they are, they are. Some of them still has to pursue be a basketball player and say, come on, you know, just... I'm not saying, you know, like, don't play basketball. I'm just saying there's other stuff to do out there than just, you know, ball. <laughs> so. And that's the problem. But there's such a good time. Yeah. They have too much of a good time. Yeah. And of course, Filipinos, they know how to, they know how to have fun. They know how to talk to girls. And there's always that whole concept, right? Oh, yeah. I'm so impressed, man. You, that's, that's really awesome for you. I don't get to meet too many Filipino engineers. Really? Honestly, so that's really, really good. That's shocking, actually. If I ever go back to FIBA, I think I gotta start playing like on the super senior team now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, gotta, I don't think no, so. No, I'm like 35, over 35 now, so that's gonna be like the seniors. <laughs> <laughs> the senior yeah, team now. <laughs> that's actually funny. Yeah, even though if, I mean, I, in my head I feel like I'm young, and nope, I'm on the senior team. No, but I think the seniors as well, they play rough too, so. I oh, mean, come on, because they can't run, they just bang each other. All is like, they use their whole body to attack you, right? <laughs> And of course, everyone's got braces on their knees. <laughs> They're all yeah, I'm like knee brace, foot brace, arm brace. I'm like, what else is gonna be in pain after I play with you guys? Right? And then they're all sitting there. They can't move yeah. the next day. But what I like about those guys, some of them, they like to trash talk a lot. <laughs> oh, when I was your age, I used to do, I used to dunk and all that. I'm just like, oh, come on. <laughs> that makes me mad and jealous, man. You guys got monster cast. I just think of Pacquiao's calves all the time. Oh, Pacquiao has the best ones. <laughs> When I look up, it's like, I don't know how he does it. So this is rubbing alcohol to neutralize that acid. So we have killed those corners, not coming back. Now, in your case, you got all that abnormal flesh. We're just gonna clean the corners out a little bit. You might have seen some of the videos where I take some crazy skin out. Yeah. We don't really have to do that today. Most of your tissue here is relatively normal. It's just the inside that we're gonna clean up. Okay. If it was more like a deformed toe, which was like double the size, then I would have to do something more aggressive. But this is just gonna be a very light scraping of this bad stuff inside here. And I can't wait for this to be on YouTube so I can see the whole thing. <laughs> right here, like where I am, it's like... It's hard to see. It's hard to see. And let me get the good there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's... Um, that's why I say it's not the same. No. That's why it's in interesting, man. And really... Like, what are you feeling? Nothing, honestly. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. So, getting some of this dead stuff off. All unhealthy tissue. Fry it up, make some chicharron. Chicharron, there you go. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? So, my wife is Cuban. Wow. Yeah, and... Uh, Couple, my one of my first times in Cuba, we're walking around and I see lechong con pan. I was like, what? They have Filipino lechong here? I never knew lechong was like Spanish. <laughs> I thought it was like just a Filipino thing. Man. Yeah, I, I, I was two years old, you know, knowing about that. Wow, I thought, I thought lechong is just... Filipino? Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's a Spanish thing. It's not, it's not Filipino. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because so when I saw the jump, I was like, wow. I'm going my dad that, and let me see if he knows. It is so crazy. So what's going to happen? Normal tissue is going to fill into those corners. Another person's uh, toe right there. <laughs> nope, that's your, that's your toe. No way. And that's now. Was it that bad? See, like, I don't even remember it, honestly. And you were working with that thing. Oh, yeah. Steel and toe and everything. It's been two months. No pain. Not at all. And you said you, you really forgot what it was like to have an ingrown? Yeah. Just like that? Just like that. If I were to like hit my toe, it's brush it off. <laughs> Back then, it's like, if I were to hit it, oh my god, I gotta be careful how I'm walking. And 
and all and the that. boot everything so i'm going to show the camera at the back we can see the new nail growing in that's fully pink and attached that white line is that lifted portion where i was torching you but on your numbing you didn't feel anything separating the nail from the nail bed um, that way the nail comes out nice but that new nail grows in fully attached and those lifted edges grow out but look at two months it looks so much better the shape of the toe is so much better like i still can't get over how wide i know and how okay so this is the big thing everyone wants to know how is it like after the healing how long did the freezing last do you remember uh, a good like three four hours okay yeah and then when it weared off how did it feel it feels like nothing honestly it didn't really hurt, it didn't really hurt. You're being a tough guy? I think okay. it's just me, yeah. Uh, pain level is low, so I can't give an easy <laughs> But the big thing is, I think, what I tell everyone, when you have a really bad ingrown, that the healing sometimes is not even close to what it compares to have that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because that's painful, right? What you had before. Very Anytime painful. you bang something, you touch it, it sucks. Oh, yeah. So healing was not bad. Not bad at all. When did you start going back to the gym? Uh, not going to lie to you, probably like, Five days, six days after. And any issues? No issues at all. Have you had any problem with healing since then? No, nothing. Okay, that's awesome. So all we're gonna do is we can trim straight across from now on. Yep. You don't have to worry about any other ingrown. That's it, you're done. Amazing. You're gonna have to just do some good dressing. So you're gonna be using an antibiotic cream on either side of the toe. Yep. The first couple days it's gonna bleed. So if it bleeds through the dressing today, normal, you're just gonna take it off, put a new dressing on. So you're gonna put on cream, yep. gauze, and wrap. I'm gonna wrap this a little bit already because you are gonna bleed. Yeah? Yeah. And it's because of all that abnormal tissue. Okay. But that's completely normal.